God is your strength even in the time of trouble? Our God is always faithful, always with those who believe in Him in all circumstances and at all times. In Psalms 46, verses 1 through 3, the psalmist wrote thus, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea. Though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. Selah. The metaphorical analogy used in the scripture is intended to emphasize that God never abandons his own, no matter what. And that no matter what, he will always bring his own to victory. The word of God, from the scripture we read, also makes it clear that it is the will and the desire of God to be our refuge and our very present help at all times. And if we know and believe this, then we have no need to be afraid, no matter what the situation portends to be. Even if everything around us appears to be turning against us. With strong and unshakable faith in God and His ever faithful promises, we need not be shaken or unduly agitated. The God who called us is faithful. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 24, it says, He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. So bearing this word of God in mind, we can rest assured that we will always come out victorious. This is what the Bible envisages and declares in Romans 8 verse 37. That, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So, no matter how bad things appear to be right now or how bad things appear to be tomorrow, you do not have to succumb to worry and anxiety. Let's look at what God says we should do in times of trouble. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. That is exactly what God expects of us in every situation. God is saying you should not be unduly terrified or frozen with fear, that He is still in control. In Isaiah 43 verses 2 through 7, He assures us, and here is what He says. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Saba in your place. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored, and I have loved you. Therefore I will give men for you, and people for your life. Fear not, for I am with you, I will bring your descendants from the east, and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him, yes, I have made him. So surely there will be times of trial or trying times, for it is the way of all the living. But one thing heartwarming that should be every believer's comfort is that God promises to be with us, to save us, and to deliver us. Hallelujah! What a loving Father, and what a loving God who never abandons His children. So rejoice, God's child, and all who believe in Christ. Because the Lord was and is still with you, the situation will end in praise. It will not consume you. And God's promises are always sure, so stop feeling rejected and dejected, arise and face that challenge with courage and boldness, for God is on your side. Pray along with me as I pray, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Let us pray. My Father and my God. My Strengthener. My very present help in time of need. Ever faithful God. Dear Lord. I come to you in my hour of need. For in Philippians 4 verse 6, you entreat me to be anxious for nothing but to come to you with my needs, giving you thanks and praying for you about them, and that you would hear me and grant my requests. Lord, here I come. For you and you alone are my Lord, my God and my Helper, the Helper of the helpless, the ever-loving Father. Therefore Father, in a time like this, I need your help. For there are many things here that I cannot do for myself, no matter how hard I try. Therefore, dear Father Lord, I rely on you and place all my hopes in you. 
long life, divine health, divine protection, and deliverance from forces I cannot see are all your exclusive preserves, dear Lord, and I cannot help myself in any of these and many more. Therefore dear Lord, come and rescue me from my hidden and even physical enemies, for I have no power or might against them. Therefore Holy Lord, do not leave nor abandon me, for yours I am, and in you is my hope and trust. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you Father, say that those who put their trust in you will not be ashamed. Dear Father Lord, do not allow me to fall into the shame of not being able to supply my family's needs. Do not let me enter the shame of poverty and lack, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, please keep me from the shame of childlessness. Lord, do not allow me to enter into the shame of sicknesses and afflictions. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God, do not allow me to suffer the shame of divorce. Lord, do not allow me to enter into the shame of widowhood or widowerhood. Lord, do not allow me to suffer the shame of marital delay and perpetual spinsterhood or bachelorhood. In the name of Jesus Christ, grant me, dearest Lord, all my desires for happiness, happiness in my marriage, happiness in my home, happiness in my workplace, happiness in my relationship, and happiness in my walk with you. O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, disappoint those that want me dead, those that want me humiliated, and those that wish a disastrous end for me and my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, these I pray for in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me pray for you, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Everlasting Father King of Glory. I pray for these dearest listeners. Father Lord, I ask for your strengthening for them. O Lord, be their helper and comforter in their trying times. Dear Lord, always be there with them to comfort them in all situations. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, fight all their battles for them. Both open and hidden battles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let those who have risen against them be routed and put to flight by your angels. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my God, strengthen their faith in you through miracles, signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. If you enjoy this prayer, subscribe and share it with your loved ones and friends on social media. May God bless us all.